This video is a follow up to the review that I did on the recently released Bleach one shot and in that video I discussed how the one shot had left us with more questions rather than answers. So if you haven't seen my review of the Bleach special chapter definitely check out that video before continuing with this one. In the one shot Kubo had touched upon the idea of hell butterflies as Xylopodo had asked Renji why is it that the Shinigami use hell butterflies. Now after speculating in my own mind and theorizing what on earth the Espada had meant I have come up with the idea to create a video explaining everything that we know about Hell Butterflies from the Bleach manga. So in this very brief video, I want to explain all of the instances that the Hell Butterflies are mentioned. The aim of this video is to try and pick up upon any clues that are revealed within the manga as to the role that the Hell Butterflies will play in the upcoming Bleach Hell arc. So let's get into the video. This is my breakdown and analysis of Hell Butterflies within the Bleach universe. By the Soul Society arc, we already know that Hell Butterflies are used by the Soul Society for various different uses. They are utilized by the Shinigami for communication and most notably for travel. An important point to note is that the first panel of the very first chapter of Bleach contains a Hell Butterfly. It is actually the first thing that we are introduced to within Kubo's world. We of course know that the Hell Butterfly was being utilized by Rukia for travel. We next see the Hell Butterflies a couple of pages later when Rukia performs a conso on a soul that has been following Ichigo. When the portal that takes the soul to the soul society eventually closes, we see two hell butterflies emerge from it. So it is here that we have established that when a Shinigami performs a Konso with a Zanpakuto, a mark is left on the forehead of that soul. And when that soul leaves the human world to enter into the soul society through a portal, a hell butterfly emerges from that portal when it closes up. It's as if a hell butterfly signifies or represents that a soul has left the human world. Now what you will also note is that a hell Hell Butterfly is a spiritual creature, so it can only be seen by individuals who are highly attuned to their spiritual powers. Within the Bleach one-shot chapter, we learned about a spiritual grading system called Ray. We learned that lieutenants have a Ray grade of 4 to 5, while captains typically have a Ray grade of 3 or higher. Now something of note which James Hansen had mentioned over on his Twitter page is that a Hell Butterfly is never seen to accompany any individual with a Ray grade of 5 or higher. Now we don't entirely know the reason behind why a Hell Butterfly appears when a Konso is performed. But it is revealed that Hell Butterflies are used by Shinigami in order to guide them through the Senkaimon. The Senkaimon is a dimensional gateway which allows the Shinigami to leave the Soul Society and travel between the human world and the Soul Society. The Senkaimon literally translates into World Penetration Gate. Now within the second Bleach character data book called Masked, we learn the purpose of the Senkaimon. And we also learn that the Shinigami are permitted to carry a black winged insect called the Hell Butterfly. They are reliant on the Hell Butterfly because it guides them and allows them to travel through the Senkaimon. These very black winged insects appear when Byakuya and Renji take Rukia back to the Soul Society. When the Senkaimon is opened, we see Hell Butterflies appear around them. Now Hell Butterflies are also used as a communication device to allow the Shinigami to communicate between different divisions. A perfect example of this is seen within Chapter 231 when Rukia is made aware that the Espada are attacking Karakura Town while she is in the Soul Society. When Rukia rushes towards the Senkaimon, Orihime states that she will go with her, to which Rukia says no, as she reminds her that she had told her earlier that Orihime doesn't have a Hell Butterfly, so if she attempts to pass through the Senkaimon then she'll end up within the Dangai, which is the border between the world of the living and the Soul Society. So we learn that it is absolutely necessary for the Shinigami to have a Hell Butterfly in order to be guided through the Senkaimon, and from this we can assume that Hell Butterflies are assigned to Shinigami. Now where do Hell Butterflies originate from and how on earth are they in the possession of the Soul Society? Up until this point, we had just assumed that Hell Butterflies were just some technology developed by the Soul Society's Research and Development Institute, but we do get some more information about them within Chapter 59. Within this chapter, we learn that Hell Butterflies are taken care of by Shinigami within the Soul Society. They are bred and looked after by lower ranking Shinigami, and we can infer this through Chapter 59. We see a Shinigami who is trying to capture a Hell Butterfly that appears to have escaped from its enclosure. He attempts to load the Hell Butterfly to him by using a fake female butterfly. Renji ends up kicking the Shinigami asking what he is doing. He tells him that he should be able to handle the Hell Butterflies by now. From this statement, we can assume that looking after the Hell Butterflies is a very easy task. Now this is all of the information that we appear to learn about Hell Butterflies within the Bleach manga. Now the entire reason behind why I am making this video is because Hell Butterflies were mentioned heavily within the recent Bleach special chapter through the appearance of 
of these black purple winged insects within this new chapter, we can also begin to speculate upon the origin of these butterflies. Now from the Bleach one shot chapter, the hell butterflies appear around the character of Kazui. When he guides a soul to a shrine and he ends up opening up a portal, four hell butterflies appear from this portal. Now some people including myself are assuming that Kazui had intentionally or unintentionally opened up this portal which is leading to hell. This is because the portal that appears is strikingly similar to the one that Xylopodo had came out of at the end of this chapter. We next see a hell butterfly accompanying Ichika. She had overheard the communication with Mayuri to the lieutenants and had decided to come to the world of the living also. And it appears that Ichika has been assigned a hell butterfly and through using this she had opened up a Senkaimon of her own and was guided to the world of the living by the hell butterfly. Now the most striking thing that I noted after rereading this special chapter is that a hell butterfly appears from the portal that Xylopodo emerges from. Does this mean that they also function as a guide for individuals who are wanting to leave hell and go into the human world? Or does this mean that hell butterflies originate from hell, as their name implies? Now after we get this whole monologue from Xylopodo about how the Soul Society has unwittingly been sending their own captains to hell, he states another very fascinating piece of information before he leaves. He states that before going home he's going to give them one last piece of information to ponder upon. He tells them that he is pretty confident that they have failed to notice this, but hell has always been beside them. He asks Ichigo has he ever wondered why the butterflies that guide the Shinigami from the Soul Society to the world of the living have hell within their name. As he departs and the gates of hell close, we see a lone hell butterfly flying outside of the gates. And the chapter concludes as we see Kazui walking along the side of a road as he is being guided by two hell butterflies. All of us, including myself, didn't think much about the concept of hell butterflies until the release of this chapter. We had simply assumed that they were used for travel and communication by the Soul Society. But after this chapter, I've began to speculate that have the Gotei 13 been acquiring hell butterflies from hell? How or why did they do this? It also leads me to speculate, can the individuals who reside within hell eavesdrop on the communication relayed by the hell butterflies? Have they been able to listen in on the Soul Society this entire time? Could the residents of hell begin to manipulate the hell butterflies to their advantage and relay miscommunication to the Shinigami or begin to incorrectly guide them to their advantage? Of course, this is all speculation from this one line that Xylopodo drops. Also, what role does Kazui have in all of this? Now, some assumed that the gate that Kazui had opened up was a Garganta, but we know that Gargantas do not produce hell butterflies. Up until this point, we only saw Senkaimon release hell butterflies, but this new gate, which appears to have teeth around it, is also able to release these butterflies. Now, earlier on in the video, I mentioned this notion that Shinigami who are under a certain power level not possessing hell butterflies. Now, this leads me to speculate several different theories. So, when a Shinigami is strong enough, they end up being assigned a hell butterfly. Does this mean that when this Shinigami dies, they are going to meet the same fate as Captain Ukitake, Unohana, and Yamamoto? Are these hell butterflies that have been guiding them from the Soul Society to the world of the living, are they going to guide them to hell after they die? Similar to how hell butterflies appear when a Konso is performed, sending a soul from the human world to the Soul Society. And one last point that I almost completely forgot to mention is that within the first chapter of Bleach, Ichigo notices a hell butterfly within his room. He questions where this black swallow-tailed butterfly had come from. It is immediately within the next page that Rukia appears from outside of a portal. It appears that this hell butterfly was guiding her to the location of an incredibly high spiritual pressure. Through watching my videos, you'll already know that Kubo riddles his story with deeper meaning and nuance. And one theory that I'm definitely going to be sticking with is that these hell butterflies are only assigned to powerful Shinigami after their spiritual pressure reaches a certain point, to which after they die, they cannot simply be released back into the atmosphere of the Soul Society. So these hell butterflies are kind of like a precursor to their destination after they die. They are guided by hell butterflies while they are alive for their ultimate destination after they die, which is being sent down to hell. Now, I want to know all of your theories and thoughts on hell butterflies. After covering everything that we know about them from the series, have you began to speculate on what on earth Xylopodo had meant? What did he mean by saying that hell has always been beside the Shinigami? I would love to hear your thoughts and speculations on this topic, and if you want more videos like this one, then definitely leave a comment under this video. I have several different ideas when it comes to explaining concepts within the Bleach universe, and similar to this video, I definitely want to make one centered around Hell and everything that we know about it from the series, and trying to put all of this information together to try to understand what was revealed within Hell through this Bleach one-shot chapter that was released. So if you want content like that where I'm speculating and theorizing based on information that Kubo gives us, then let me know in the comments, and I look forward to 
to seeing all of you in my next Bleach video. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, then please consider supporting my channel on Patreon. I have multiple tiers with the rewards including access to an exclusive Discord server, video scripts, as well as being the first to know about unreleased upcoming videos. Thank you for your time and whatever you choose to contribute, I will appreciate and it will mean a lot to me.